let's go to question 7c from summer 2021 question paper 41 uh, it is a question on a compound called glutathione you see uh, the word thio that means uh, there will be a sulfur in the molecule so the part one of this question is to label chirocentus with an asterisk in this compound okay uh, to recall okay, this chirocenter means uh, the carbon the carbon which is bonded to four different groups in a chiral molecule. So sometimes it, it can be more than one uh, carbon uh, that is like this, right? So we need to find all of them, right? Remember all four groups are different, right? So what do I need to do is, um, I would turn this into a, a, a more, a, a more detailed molecule because now we are given the skeletal formula some of some of uh, some students will find skeletal, skeletal formula difficult to read because it is the formula with the least information given you only, you don't even see the carbon you know of this uh, molecule okay let me just draw all the carbon uh, i prefer it i prefer to read uh, a structure with more information right and i'll also put in the uh, hydrogen so that i can see clearly how many groups of atoms these carbon atoms are bonded to and you know when they are bonded to two hydrogen that carbon cannot be a chiral center so I'll use another color. So this carbon has double bond. Ah, okay, not chiral center. This carbon bonded to one hydrogen, one NH2, one COOH, and another one, the, the rest of the molecule, so big. All four of them are different, right? So yes, this carbon, let me just highlight in blue. Okay, is a chiral center. This carbon with two hydrogen, not chiral center. Two hydrogen, not chiral center. Double bond, not chiral center. Uh, don't, don't look at high nitrogen. Okay, we are only talking about carbon. This carbon, right, bonded to one hydrogen. This very big side group. Okay, this CH2SH and another side the big part of this molecule. Again, all four are different. Let me highlight these in blue. Okay, another chiral center that we found. This carbon, okay, has a double bond? No, because it must be bonded to four groups. So uh, double bond means it can be bonded to only less than uh, four groups. So that cannot be a chiral center. Don't look at nitrogen. Okay, this carbon, two hydrogen, okay, not chiral center. Again, double bond, not chiral center. Are we done with all of them? Oh, one more carbon. Okay, then two again, not chiral center. So only two, okay, which I highlighted in blue, they are chiral center. So the question say that you need to label them, okay, with this symbol, right? So again, okay, I'll erase the one that I've highlighted so that we can put, okay, we can put asterisk on the carbon. Okay, you know, of course, you can do this as rough working okay, in exam paper. Okay, red color will be too confusing. Let me change now. Okay, orange. Okay, so I label one chiral center, okay, two chiral center. So in the exam, you do not need to draw all this, you only have to show okay, the two asterisks for the two chiral center. All right, now we have solved part one. We have solved uh, part one. Let us go and look at what do they want us to do in part two. Part two, uh, draw the structures of the three products form. Okay, three products. 
after complete acid hydrolysis of glutathione, assume the thiol group does not react. Okay, this will not react with acid. Okay, I'll take note. Now, acid hydrolysis. Now, in your syllabus uh, from AS organic chemistry, A2 organic chemistry, you need to learn that two functional groups can undergo acid hydrolysis. Okay, one of them is amide. Another one is ester. Only these two. So let's find the functional groups, okay, and see if uh, any of them is an amide, okay, or an ester. Okay, let me change it back to red color. I think that is clearer to be red. All right. So amide means you are looking for a C double bond O N H. Ester means you are looking for C double bond O O. Okay, now I have CO here, but this is carboxylic acid CO. Okay, not bonded, not directly bonded to N, so there's no amide here. Okay, go on. CO, ah, NH. Right, I found one amide, which can undergo acid hydrolysis. Here is carbon, okay, CO. Oh, bonded to NH again, right? Another amide link. Okay, let's just go on. Okay, no more. That's it. Okay, so two amide functional groups which can undergo acid hydrolysis and they will be broken. Okay, this CN bond will be broken during the hydrolysis. So you will get three different products. I'll circle every part with different color. Okay, then later I'll draw the structure of the product using that color so that you can see clearer what's happening and what are the products form. Right. Oh, sorry. Here. And the last one. Okay, from here on to the end. Okay, now the green color part, okay? Green color part, the COOH. Wait, do they say that they need a skeletal formula? Okay, they don't, right? So we can choose any formula that we are comfortable with. So I have this carbon, now to the second carbon. One, two, three, four, five. Here I'll always number the carbon so I don't miss out any. Okay, now I'm going to carbon number two. Bonded to NH2, bonded to H. I will go to carbon number three, bonded to H and H. Carbon number four, bonded to two hydrogen also. Number five, O. So during hydrolysis, okay, when this amide link is broken, the CO part will become OH again, and the NH part okay, will become amine again. So this will be OH. Okay, what's that from water? Water is H2O. OH is taken by one part, hydrogen is taken by the other part. All right, now let's look at this middle one, the blue color. Okay, NH, one carbon, two carbon. Okay, side I have another one more carbon, right? Now, this is bonded to carbon number one. Okay, carbon number one is bonded to carbon number three and also another hydrogen. So this NH will become amine. Okay, uh, took the H from the water. Carbon number two, okay, so carbon number two first. Carbon number two is again the CO from an amide group. So it will get the uh, OH back from water. And this carbon number three bonded to the thiol group and two hydrogen. I just put H2. Right, done with the, the second part. Let's go to the third part for the third product. Orange color. 
Okay, again, I number one, two. Oh, this time smaller one, two carbon only. So first start with this NH. So again, okay, this NH will become NH2 and bonded to carbon number one with two hydrogen. Carbon number two from carboxylic acid. Right, so this will be the three products for the acid hydrolysis of glutathione. There's another part of this question, part three. Now, part three says that glutathione is soluble in water. By referring to the structure of glutathione, explain why glutathione is soluble in water. Now, this is a very straightforward question. Whenever they ask why something is soluble in water, okay, the answer, the answer must be because this molecule can form hydrogen bond with water. Okay. Always write down because that molecule, okay can form or will form hydrogen bond with water. Okay. Now, this is one more question, so you can stop here. What they want to see is only will form hydrogen bond with water, right? If two marks, then you probably have to uh, explain further Okay, then you have to talk about, talk about which group, okay, which functional group or which atom, uh, which group of atoms can form hydrogen bond with water. In this case, will be OH, okay, the O, the NH2. Okay, all this can form hydrogen bond with water. But since it has so many O with avail available lone pairs and OH and NH2, also with uh, available lone pairs. That's why uh, it, it's very soluble in water. It can form so many hydrogen bonds with water, right? Okay. Now, so that's all for question 7c from this paper. If you have any question, uh, please leave your comments below this video. Okay. I'll try my best to attend to your questions. Thank you.